early Tuesday morning. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? The Nard Creek near Rye. When? From late tonight to early Tuesday morning. Impacts at 23.0 feet. Moderate lowland flooding begins as low-lying areas along the creek are inundated. Additional details. At 2.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time Friday, the stage was 17.0 feet. Bankful stage is 17.0 feet. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage late tonight to a crest of 23.5 feet Sunday morning. It will then fall below flood stage Monday afternoon. Flood stage is 20.0 feet. Flood history. This crest compares to a previous crest of 23.5 feet on December 13, 2001. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. And now for your seven-day forecast. Flood watch now in effect through Saturday afternoon. Tonight, mostly cloudy. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms this evening. Then showers likely with a chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Lows in the lower 70s. Light and variable winds. Chance of rain 70%. Saturday, mostly cloudy with a chance of thunderstorms. Showers, mainly in the morning. Humid with highs in the mid-80s. Northeast winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming southeast around 5 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of rain 90%. Saturday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight. Humid with lows in the mid-70s. Light and variable winds. Chance of rain 40%. Sunday, showers likely. A chance of thunderstorms in the morning, then thunderstorms likely in the afternoon. Humid with highs in the upper 80s. South winds around 5 miles per hour. Chance of rain 70%. Sunday night, mostly cloudy. Humid with lows in the upper 70s. South winds around 5 miles per hour. Monday, mostly sunny. Highs in the lower 90s. Monday night through Friday, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-70s. Highs in the lower 90s. Heat index values up to 105. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for the Southeast Texas coastal waters, including Sabine Lake. Tonight, southeast winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 feet. Lake waters a light chop. Slight chance of thunderstorms until midnight, then showers likely and chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Saturday, south winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 feet. Lake waters a light chop. Showers with thunderstorms likely in the morning, then chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Saturday night, south winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 feet. Lake waters a light chop. Slight chance of thunderstorms until midnight, then chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Sunday, south winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 feet. Lake waters a light chop. Showers likely in the morning. Chance of thunderstorms through the day. Sunday night, south winds around 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Lake waters a light chop. Slight chance of thunderstorms after midnight. Monday, south winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Lake waters a light chop. Tuesday, south winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Lake waters smooth. Wednesday, south winds around 10 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Lake waters smooth. On the 7 p.m. observations. In Beaumont, it was cloudy. The temperature was 79 and the relative humidity 84%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.95 inches and steady. At Orange, it was cloudy. The temperature was 81. At Jasper, it was cloudy. 
the temperature was 79. In Lufkin, it was cloudy. The temperature was 79. In Lake Charles, it was partly sunny. The temperature was 79. The wind was south at 3 miles an hour. In Galveston, it was cloudy. The temperature was 80. The wind was east at 8 miles an hour. In Houston, it was cloudy. The temperature was 81. The wind was east at 6 miles an hour. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 80 at College Station and 78 at Conroe. Here are some marine observations. At the buoy 30 miles south of High Island, the air temperature was 80. The water temperature was 84. Winds were east at 8 knots, gusting to 10. The wave heights was 2 feet every 5 seconds. Again, at 7 p.m. in Beaumont, it was cloudy. The temperature was 79. Flood watch remains in effect for Saturday afternoon. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues to be possible. Where? Portions of southwest Louisiana, including the following parishes, East Cameron and West Cameron and Southeast Texas, including the following areas, Lower Jefferson, Southern Orange and Upper Jefferson. When? Through Saturday afternoon. Impacts. Excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Creeks and streams may rise out of their banks. Flooding may occur in poor drainage and urban areas. Low water crossings may be flooded. Additional details, http colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. You should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. Flood warning now in effect until early Sunday afternoon. What? Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Where? Nature's River near Evendale. When? Until early Sunday afternoon. Impacts at 17.0 feet. Minor flooding expected with the boat ramps at Evendale possibly becoming inaccessible. Flooding can be expected in the low-lying areas of the Lakeview community in Orange County. Additional details, at 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time Friday, the stage was 17.2 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time Friday was 17.2 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to fall below flood stage early Sunday morning and falling to 16.0 feet Wednesday morning. Flood stage is 17.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning remains in effect until further notice. What? Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Where? Nages River and Nages River salt water barrier. When? Until further notice. Impacts at 6.0 feet. Collier's Ferry Park is underwater and flooding of secondary roads near the river can be expected. Additional details, at 10.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time Friday, the stage was 5.0 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 10.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time Friday was 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest of 5.9 feet Sunday evening. Flood stage is 4.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning now in effect from late tonight to early Tuesday morning. So many flood warnings. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Pine Island by you near Sour Lake. When? From late tonight to early Tuesday morning. Impacts at 25.0 feet. Water inundates roads in lowland areas near the river. Low spots on Old Sour Lake Road are underwater. Additional details. At 10.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time Friday, the stage was 24.4 feet. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage late tonight to a crest of 25.4 feet early Sunday morning. It will then fall below flood stage early Monday afternoon. Flood stage is 
75.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning remains in effect oh until further notice. What? Minor flooding is occurring and minor flooding is forecast. Where? Subby River near Dweeville. When? Until further notice. Impacts at 25.0 feet. Lowest roads beside the river flood around Dweeville and subject to being closed. In addition, low-lying roads in southwest Beauregard Parish are flooded including Robert Clark Road. Flooding occurs on the south side of Niblick Bluff Park with access roads to camp houses cut off around the park. Access roads to the river in northeastern Orange County become flooded. Additional details, in 10.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time Friday the stage was 24.8 feet. Recent activity, the maximum river stage in the 24 hours ending at 10.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time Friday was 24.8 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise to a crest at 25.2 feet early Monday morning. Flood stage is 24.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning in effect from late to late to early Tuesday morning. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Bernard Creek near Rye. When? From late tonight to early so Tuesday morning. Impacts at 23.0 feet. Modern lowland flooding begins as low-lying areas along the creek are inundated. Additional details. At 2.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time Friday, the stage was 17.0 feet. Bankful stage is 17.0 feet. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage late tonight to a crest of 23.5 feet Sunday morning. It will then fall below flood stage Monday afternoon. Flood stage is 